Hey guys, welcome to Tackling Twitter, where we dissect a tweet. I'm Rebecca Brayton, and with me as always is CEO and founder of WatchMojo, Ashcan Carbistrushan, and here's the tweet. Uh, enough with panels, enough with initiatives, blah, blah, blah. Don't empower me, pay me, ask for a raise. So this is in honor of International Women's Day on March 8th. So what's our opinion here? Well, look, I think this is uh, based on my experience, limited sample size, but take it you know, as, as you like. I think ultimately, in my experience, men have no issues and qualms about knocking on their boss's door, going in and saying, I'm getting married, I got kids, I got a mortgage, I need more, more money. And you have a kind of civil discussion and, and there you go. I, I think that like that tweet is half right, enough with the talks, but realistically employers don't have a self, you know, any interest in paying people more. So I don't necessarily think that that's realistic. I think it starts also with women being confident enough to ask for the raise and if they don't get it to keep, you know, making their arguments when the time is right, reviews intermittently, however, whatever makes sense. But I think the other half of it is you got to be comfortable in making the ask. and. Um, yeah. To be fair, though, uh, there was like one study where they said that women weren't uh, asking for as many raises, and they've since done another study uh, where women ask as many times, if not more, and are 25% less likely to get the raise if they ask. I, okay. It depends, I guess, what the jobs are. I'm going to guess that has more to do with demand and supply, meaning how many people want to do that job than just the, the gender. Look, I think fundamentally, um, you're not going to get a yes the first time in life. Like I used to work in sales. I don't think I had like a you know thousand batting average. Just people gave us money. You follow up. You know even in matters of the heart, you might be pursuing a girl, and you got to keep chasing her for lack of better. That sounds bad. I don't bad. think we're doing that anymore. We're not doing that anymore. It's bad. <laughs> but look, I think fundamentally it boils down to um, you have to realize that we were an exception. I didn't want this to get out of hand where all of a sudden you had this wide discrepancy between genders and, and race and, and sexual orientation. So I think we were a bit more proactive to avoid that. But again, ask yourself, unless you're really high profile, why would you, do, why would you volunteer and, and pay people more? Unfortunately, employers don't think like that. So the onus is, is also on the employee. Regardless of who you are, man, woman, gender, alien, whatever, you got to make the ask. You got to stick to it and you got And you may not get what you want, but I think you, know, you can expect employers. This is an Alice in Wonderland. But why do you think women aren't getting the raises that they ask for more than men? Uh, because, because men, uh, not men, because society still is racist, sexist, and, and discriminates, unfortunately. And those things don't get solved overnight. And, you know, look, I, I was Ashkan Karbis Rushan applying for Wall Street jobs. Nobody was tripping over one another to get back to me. You know, and I, don't, I didn't have a sense of entitlement. But the bottom line is you got to take the bull by the horns yourself. This, my, my beef is just this expectation that employers are going to kind of volunteer to pay people to avoid it only works if you're super high profile and publicly traded and many other things where you're afraid it's going to get out. So I think it's up to the employee, regardless of gender, orientation, race, to make the ask.